We are here with people off the street for an interview about the theories of this year. To start, do you think the world will end? Why or why not? No, I don't. And I don't see any reason to believe it will. The world's ending? The world won't end. Any sane person can see that. That's what they all tell me. My mom, my dad, my principal, the police, the asylum. Yeah, and the wall, the wall especially. What do you think of the Mayans and their civilization? The Mayans were an ancient race from thousands of years ago that made calendars that went thousands of years into the future. Unfortunately, thousands of years into the past, minus thousands of years in the future, brings us to now. They know everything. Everything! It was the psychopaths that likely decided that just because the calendar ended, it meant the world ended too. However, this seems like an odd conclusion to a normal person. The minds, they're, sp they're speaking to me through the lens. Another belief is the world rebooting, which is based on the minds. It comes from a certain group known as hippies. Seeing that everything in the entire universe is a happy-go-lucky entity, the world could clearly not be ending in their eyes, but instead was just having a spiritual awakening. The Mayans, known for pulling thorns through people's tongues, probably disagreed. There are pictures of Planet X that show it hurtling towards us. Comments? The existence of Planet X has already been disproved by NASA, the ones with all the technology. I don't think much more needs to be said on that subject. Google Images is all the proof I need. How about the solar flares that are likely to hit their peak in 2012? Burn! Burn, I say! We will all burn! Solar flares are no new occurrence. They hit Earth all the time. When this happens, we have a name for it. Aurora Borealis. What does this mean? It means there will be a lot more pretty lights. I like pretty lights. For the last question, what about the polar shift that will happen to Earth? Earthquakes! Continental drift! Zombies! Polar shifting is not new, and has happened to the Earth in the past, and billions of times to other planets. However, this does not take place overnight. What actually causes polar shift is the friction between the spinning iron core of the Earth and the exterior crust. Eventually, it will slow down and then continue spinning in the opposite direction, putting the North Pole on the South and the South Pole on the North. This will take many years, especially since the core is still spinning quite fast. Uh, security. The cycle ward Any parting thoughts? If you, for some reason, still think the world is going to end, you should know that other people did also, for many other dates. In fact, in the 21st century alone, there have been end-of-the-world predictions for 2000, 2001, 2004, 2007, 2008, 2010, and 2011. Hey, get back here. Earth won't end just yet, but once it does, it will likely be in a much better way and not for a very, very long time.